Dear friends, how are you all? I hope you are all fine. I'm Akhay Badar and our today's lecture is about types of sentences. So today we have to discuss about types of sentences meaning wise. If you are new at my channel, please subscribe my channel, like this video and share it with your friends. So let's start our today's lecture. So we have to know about types of sentences as according to their meaning that are meaning wise. So here we have five type of sentences written on the board. So they are first assertive sentences, then interrogative sentences, then imperative sentences, then optative sentences, and at the last exclamatory sentences. So they are exclamatory sentences. So now we have to check what are assertive sentences. Assertive sentences means that report about someone something. Assertive sentences reports us report us about some person, about something. If they report us about some happening, about activity of some person. So uh, assertive sentences consist affirmative sentences as well as negative sentences. So, uh, Affirmative sentences as well as negative sentences both are part of assertive sentences. So here we have two examples. He plays cricket. So it's affirmative sentence. He plays cricket. It's positive sentence. It's affirmative sentence. So it's reporting about a person who plays cricket. So his activity is playing off cricket. So then we have another uh, example. Of, he does not play cricket. He doesn't play cricket. So here it's a negative sentence. So it's telling about negativity, about negation of, it tells about negation of any activity. It tells that he doesn't play cricket. So it, it for informs us that activity of playing cricket is not done by that person. So that was our, that was our uh, introduction about assert, assertive sentences. Assertive sentences are the sentences that report about something, about some happening, about some activity, about action of any person. So next sentences are interrogative sentences. So interrogative sentences are questions asked about someone or something. In interrogative sentences, we ask about something, we ask about someone, we ask about some person, about activity of some person, about action of some person. So it tells us about that. So here we have examples. Is he teaching English? So it's a single interrogative sentence. So it's a single interrogative sentence. Is he teaching English? And then we have another example. Who are you? So it's in another interrogative sentence. Then we have another example. What is this? Where's this? So these two sentences are double interrogative sentences. Then after that, we have imperative sentences. So imperative sentences belong to order, request, advice, or forbidding something. So here it's written that imperative sentences tells us about order, about request, about advice, or about forbidding. So here, come to me at once. Come to me at once. So it's an order. When some senior person says to other person who is junior to him, so senior orders his junior to do something. So here it's come to me at once, then we have a request. Please help me. So this sentence shows that it's a sentence of request. Please help me. Then work hard so that you may succeed. Work hard so that you may succeed. So it's advice or some person, friend is telling some other person, he's advising, he's giving a piece of advice to other person work hard so that you may succeed. If some, if some person works hard, he definitely gets success. So it's a piece of advice given by some person to another person. Do not make a noise. So here it is forbidding. So here a person is forbidding other person. Do not make a noise. So it shows that it's, it is forbidding other person. So it's do not make a noise means to forbid some other person. Now we have another example, dear friends. So they are optative sentences. Optative sentences consist of pray, 
curse wish desire when we pray in favor of some person that sentences belong to optative sentences may you get first position so here it's a pray that some person is praying for other person that he should get a uh, first position may you die soon so it's curse here some person is cursing his enemy or the other person he is uh, wishing for his uh, death so death he is wishing for his death so it's a curse then we have another sentence may i win this match so here is some person who is wishing about that he should win the match so here is it's a wish may may i win this match then desire what that i were a bird what that i were a bird so what that i were a bird so it's about desire some person desires uh there is some difference that there are some type of wishes that we can fulfill and there are some type of wishes that are impossible to fill, fulfill so about such type of wishes we use word word that the wishes that we can't that we can't fulfill the wishes that are uh, that are um, impossible to be fulfilled so in those type of sentences we use the word word that then dear friends we have uh, exclamatory sentences so exclamatory sentences they uh, there is joy sorrow and wonder yes these three things are in exclamatory sentences so exclamatory sentences are hurrah i have got a prize here the person who has got a prize he is feeling happy so he is expressing his his uh, uh, joy he is expressing his pleasure so he says or i have got a prize and then it's joy sentence of joy then alas i am failed so if some person is failed he is unsuccessful in his some task uh, so he in his some objective then he will say alas i am failed so it's sorrow then we have another sentence what a beautiful car this is so it's a wonder so it shows a wonder Oh, what a beautiful car this is what a beautiful watch you have so it shows wonder so now it's quite clear from our today's lecture that there are five type of sentences meaning wise assertive sentences that reports about someone something interrogative sentences that ask about someone or something then imperative sentences that tells us about order request advice and forbidding for then optative sentences they tell us about pray curse wish or desire and then exclamatory sentences they tell us about joy sorrow and wonder so that was our today's lecture about types of sentences as a meaning wise i hope dear friends you have understood this lecture very well so you will be clear about that these five types of sentences as meaning wise i hope you it's quite clear to you so if you are new at my channel please subscribe my channel like this video and share it with your friends so we meet you in the next lecture dear goodbye dear friends